Hello, fourth graders. It is me again. So um, I would like to share a holiday book with you that's always been a favorite of mine and of my students in the past. This is called The Wild Christmas Reindeer. It's actually written and illustrated by Jan Brett. Um, I have lots and lots of Jan Brett's books. So, sorry. Um, these are just some of the collection that I have. I also have, this is another one I'm going to share later, Who's That Knocking on Christmas Eve? You probably heard of The Hat and the Mitten. Those are also written and illustrated by Jan Brett. The Three Snow Bears. One of my ultimate favorites, Trouble with Trolls. And Home for Christmas. Those are just a little sample of her literature, but I'm going to share the wild Christmas reindeer with you. So enjoy. Here we go. Beautiful illustrations. What you're going to notice about Jan Brett's books as well is that over on the sides, as we move through the story, it gives you a little bit of a sneak peek into what's going to be happening next or what kind of events are happening along with the story. So I know it's hard as I'm reading it to you this way, but if you have a chance to um, find these at the library or maybe I'll look on Epic and see if I can put some of those in your mailbox. So here we go. Tika was excited and a little afraid. This year, Santa had asked her to get the reindeer ready to fly on Christmas Eve. Tika had never done this before, and she wanted everything to be perfect. Tika lived in the Arctic in the shadow of Santa's winter farm. The last of the snow geese had flown south, and everyone's mind was on Christmas. The workshop was alive with the sounds of saws, sawing, hammers, hammering, and brushes painting as they all worked to have the toys and presents ready for delivery on Christmas Eve. There's Tika. Tika knew it was time for her to go in search of the reindeer. They had been out in the tundra, wild and free since last Christmas, and Tika was sure they wouldn't want to come back to the winter farm to train. She would have to be strong and firm. At last she found them, Bramble and Heather, Windswept and Lichen, Snowball, Crag, Twilight, and Tundra. Tika took a deep breath and she shouted, let's go, move, move, move. The reindeer were re bewildered with Tika's voice. Their heads went up to see who this loud creature was. Oof. But they let her herd them together and headed back toward Winter Farm. Tundra gave her the most trouble. Tika didn't know that he considered himself the leader and was not used to being bossed around. He liked to stay next to Twilight, but she was separated from him and running near the front. When they got to the barn, Tika put them in different stalls. Tundra snorted impatiently. Hmm. Take a look what's happening over here, over there. All right, so she got him to the farm. By the next morning, when Tika went into the barn, all the reindeer were restless and upset. Lycan was frightened of Craig, who kept nipping at him. Bramble was so worried she drove Heather wild and Twilight kept calling out to Tundra, who was just plain angry and stamping his hooves. Oh, she's got a handful here. Here she is. Tika groomed each reindeer. She wanted them to look sleek and glossy for Santa. One by one, she brushed and combed their coats and pushed and pulled at their tangled manes. She brushed so long and hard, their ears started to turn pink and a little bit rough. Tika took the reindeer outside. Now she was ready for the real training to begin. Snowflakes danced in the air. She tried to stand them in two lines and put on their harnesses, but they wouldn't stay lined up. She put Tundra at the back with Heather instead of at the front with Twilight. So he kicked out at Heather, who then bolted into Bramble. Tika scolded the reindeer. Don't move, she cried. But they all ran off wild-eyed and she had to go after them and bring them back. I'm not sure her technique is working very well. The next day, Tika harnessed the reindeer in the barn before taking them out into the snow. Everything went right until she got them lined up outside and tried to steer them first to the left and then to the right. To make the sleigh fly, they would need to pull together smoothly, but everything was wrong. Tundra crashed into Heather, Snowball blew up at Bramble, Windswept knocked over Twilight, and then like in locked antlers with Craig. Well, this just looks like a disaster. Hmm, I wonder what she's going to do. Stop, 
Tika cried as she watched the reindeer paw the air. Unhook, she shouted as they tried to free their long antlers. Then Lycan and Craig fell over into the snow. The harder they pulled, the more their antlers locked. The reindeer were frantic and Tika only made it worse by yelling at them. She's gonna have to come up with a different strategy, I think, or technique. Hmm, what do you think she should do? Tundra and Heather rushed to help, but the antlers did not break free. Windswept nudged at Lycan and Bramble ran to help Craig. But the more they tried to help, the more they got tangled up themselves. Their necks strained and their muscles bulged, but their antlers didn't budge. Tika wailed, oh please, it's almost Christmas Eve. But the reindeer didn't move. A frosty silence hung in the air. Hmm, you've got to get ready for Christmas Eve, right? Cause and effect. Remember that, boys and girls? What caused them to get all hooked together? Mm. Tika looked at the tangled reindeer. Once so bold and free, she began to cry. It's all my fault, she said. I spent all my time yelling at you instead of helping. I'm sorry. And one by one, she gave each reindeer a hug. Tomorrow, she said, we'll go to work in a new way. No yelling, no screaming, and no bossing, I promise. Let me try to get you free. Hmm. The reindeer listened to this new voice. Heather's eyes sparkled. Craig cracked a reindeer, reindeer grin. Bramble giggled and Snowball sighed. Tundra laughed and Twilight smiled. The more they laughed, the more they shook. And as they shook, their antlers rattled and rubbed. And before Tika could do anything, she heard a spring, spring, sprung sound. It was the antlers jiggling free. Oh, think about this. That's why we need to understand cause and effect. What caused the antlers to become unhooked? Think about that. All that laughing, it shook them free. Quietly, Tika held the reindeer back to the barn, or led the reindeer back to the barn. She sleeked their coats, she gently brushed their ears and combed out their manes. Tundra nuzzled her cheek. The next day, the reindeer lined up in two lines, ready for the harness. Oops, sorry, boys and girls. Miss Willie's gonna turn that off, sorry about that. So the next day, the reindeer lined up in two lines, ready for the harness with Twilight and Tundra leading the line. They practiced turning left and they practiced turning right. Tika directed them softly. Tundra pulled for Twilight. Bramble was gentle to Lycan. Windswept helped Heather and Snowball nestled against Craig. Together, they practiced long and hard. I wonder what the theme of this story is. Hmm. They didn't notice that it was getting dark and they almost didn't hear a jingle in the distance. It was Santa standing by the sleigh, piled high with presents and ready to go. Now the reindeer were ready too, and Tika led them to the sleigh. Santa smiled and nodded his thanks. Then he climbed aboard and waved to Tika, who watched as the wild reindeer rose up together and carried the sleigh off into the night. <clears throat> and there is Tika all snuggled up. So when I asked you what you thought the theme was, I think there's two themes here. One, how amazing it is when people work together. And think about Tika at the beginning of the story and how she changed to the end and her technique of kindness and using that calm voice. Hmm. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that.